Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight, we have Monty Montgomery and Monty's going to be playing through his version of Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix. So let's get Monty up on screen and see how he gets on. <laughs> I'm just going to jump in here before we get into this section that's a little bit more overdriven or at least he's got a little bit of more effect on his guitar. But at the beginning of the video we spent a long time looking at the bassist. It was a shame that we couldn't actually see Monty playing through that intro section. But then when we do watch his playing, Monty's one of these guys that gives you so much bang for your buck in terms of techniques. He's got so much technical ability. One of the things that Monty does throughout this performance is bend that guitar neck. So if you don't play guitar, the headstock of the guitar, the top part of the guitar, if you push that forwards and then push backwards on the body of the guitar, you're decreasing the tension in the, in the strings. So it will act almost like a whammy bar, obviously just to a tiny amount, but you will get a slight decrease in pitch and then it'll come back up to pitch. And Monty also bends it the other way so that he holds the body of the guitar and pulls back on the headstock to then make the pitch increase because the tension on the strings is now more. But you'll see that in this performance, we've already seen it a couple of times, Monty bending the neck. But another thing to look out for, is when Monty taps in harmonics. He does it so quickly and so subtly, but to great effect. And what I love about this performance is the fact that it's still Little Wing, you can still recognize it, but it's totally Monty's own version of it. It's really cool. All he's got is drums and bass behind him. His guitar is just the centerpiece here. And just the ability that he's got around that fretboard, also using hybrid picking here, using a standard pick, but then using second and third finger on the right hand to then pick the strings as well. Playing through some really technical runs with this technique as well. And he's only just warming up. <laughs>
Just going to jump in there, great example there of the harmonics that I was mentioning earlier. Another thing is Monty plays with so much control, there's a lot of notes going on here. But on that section where he slowed down, he started to get a little bit of feedback and he just controls that feedback so well and just highlights it and spends a little bit longer on it because it's such a great sound and especially when it's controlled like this. Let's get back into listening to a bit more. Just going to jump in here that's a great example there of the harmonics that i mentioned earlier also the fact that he is really bringing the dynamics down he knows exactly what he's doing all the top players do that they'll always give you a really in your face dynamic and then bring it straight back down to a really understated sound and again, dancing on that line of feedback there sounded so cool. And another thing we saw there was Monty's tapping onto the fretboard. What tends to happen with acoustic guitar is players will tap more than one string at a time. So when they tap down, they get more of a chord sound. So they can actually add to the melody of their playing by tapping onto the fretboard. Of course, playing on an acoustic guitar with heavier strings, it's going to be a lot harder to get a decent sound from tapping two strings at once. So you've really got to hammer down onto that fretboard. On an electric guitar, obviously, it's a lot easier. You'll generally have a lower action and lighter strings as well. And you'll have a lot more reaction from the amp and the effects that you're using. But this being played on an acoustic as well makes it so much more difficult. And the fact that Monty can get such a clean sound, his technique is absolutely top notch. The fact that we've got tapping in there, we've got bending of the neck, we've got so much harmonic work that goes on through his playing. And he's one of those players that you never know where he's going to go next because he's got such a wide library of runs and notes that he goes to that he always changes it up. And with the technique that he's got, it means that he can literally follow any notes that he wants to after the previous notes he's played. Sometimes players who have a more restrictive technique are then limited as to what they can go to next because they physically can't play certain notes because of the techniques that are involved in order to get there. Whereas Monty absolutely has all the technique in the world. So he can throw together lines that you would have never heard before because they are so unique, the notes that are following each other. And I've just queued it forward to the end because I don't want this video to go on for too long. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description below so you guys can check out the whole video if you want to. But I just wanna watch this to the end because Monty pulls all the strings of his guitar, which is the first time I've ever seen anyone do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there we go. There's the end of the performance. And unfortunately, he couldn't hit the last chord because he had no strings left on his guitar. Maybe the strings needed a change anyway, and he's just saving him some time backstage before then getting off to his next gig. But what a great performance by Monty here. There is so much technique in this little video. Sometimes, of course, it's all a matter of taste, whether you think there's too many notes in there, whether you think there's not enough melody. But just as a little showcase of his technique, ability it is amazing to watch the techniques that Monty goes through because you could spend so long breaking it down Hendrix covers are always an interesting topic so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for suggesting this one in the first place keep those suggestions coming if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one Ra